Hi there guys, Joe Pet here, and today I'm going to show you how to use your PS3 controller with your iPad or iOS device. So you can play Modern Combat 4 if you want to, or pretty much any game that uh, will allow you to use uh, on-string controls. Like, this has dual analog controls, as you see. To look around, I just use the right one. And then to move around, I use the left one. And also, you can make use of the D-pad. And anything else, like uh, I can zoom in with the L1 and shoot with the R1. And there's low to no lag. And in addition to that, I have the run button is X, I think it is. Yeah. And then I think grenades are L2. Yes, that's correct. See L2. And then I don't have uh, R1 connected to anything, but the start button. I actually put as a start button. You have to be jailbroken for this to work, unfortunately, but if you are jailbroken, this also works with the Duo Gamer. And the first thing you want to do is download an app on Cydia called Blue Troll. And that's the app that handles all this stuff. So it's B-L-U-T-R-O-L is in controller. Okay, so what you're going to do is, once you downloaded that, if you're on a Mac, you're going to want to go to this address here, which is Ringwald dot ch forward slash cydia forward slash blue troll forward slash dual shock dot html and i'll put the link in the description and what you want to do is go to mac here you want to click on this uh six pair tool after you have that zip file right here downloaded you're going to want to go ahead and connect your ios device and the ps3 controller using usb cables to your mac and after that go ahead and launch the six pair mac app right here and then it'll uh, pop this window up similar to something like this and go ahead and click on the pair controller to iPad button and then you're done now on Windows it's a little bit more complicated but not much more so first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to this address here dancing pixel studios go to six pair tool I'll link directly to this page right here and then uh, this download link that's what you want to download if you come across an error about newer version of uh, Microsoft C++, blah, 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 don't worry about it. Just finish the installation and go ahead and pull up this tool here. And you'll see searching there. It says no device found. Go ahead and plug in your PS3 via USB to your PC. And it'll pop this up. Now, it'll show uh, probably some address other than this, obviously, because you're going to have a different code in there. But what you want to do from there is go to your iOS device, click on Settings, and then click on About there, and then go down to Bluetooth. See that address right there under Wi-Fi address? That's the same number that you're going to want to put in there. So for me, it's A4 colon 67 colon 06, all that gibberish. Once you have that Bluetooth address from your iOS device, then you enter it in here and then you click on update. Give it a second. Caps doesn't matter, but once it's populated the same as down here, then you're good to go. Then you want to go back into settings again on your iOS device and then scroll down to where it says BT stack. Click on that. And if it says iOS, go ahead and click on BT stack. And then it'll take a few seconds, maybe, and then go ahead and exit out of that. Go to Blue Troll, the app. Bring it up. And then you're going to want to select a game. So what you want to do from here is click on Add, the little plus sign. And then you click on Game. And you click on whatever game you want to use. I'm going to do Modern Combat 4. And then from there, what you're going to want to choose is landscape because I'm using an iPad so it's going to be sideways but if you want to do it in portrait mode if it's a jumping game or something like that you want to do portrait mode but next thing you want to do is take a screenshot of your game and then go back into blue troll okay and after that screenshot's in your gallery go ahead and click on landscape and then go to gallery and choose the photo you want to use I'm going to use this modern combat 4 okay and once that's in there go ahead and click on the controller configuration add and then you want to select PS3 controller. And then I'm going to do landscape again. But again, you can change this as you would like. So once you see this here, you're going to see all these buttons that you're familiar with. So to move these buttons around, all you have to do is tap on them and drag them. So I'm going to drag this one over to the zoom in button. And then we're going to go L2. Let's go ahead and do that for grenades. There we go. And then after that, we're going to do R1, which is going to be fire. And it doesn't, uh, you know, like you just tap on the screen. So let's go ahead and do that. And then R2, 
I didn't use R2. So anything you don't want to use, just put off in this black space here. And then I'm going to put the start button up here on the pause button. And then left, this L here is actually the left analog. The bigger you make it, the more sensitive it's going to be. So I made that pretty big for moving around. Okay, this one without any letters is actually the D-pad. So I'm going to leave that alone. And I'm going to take the R over here. I'm going to make this bigger. So it's more sensitive, but not as to overlap or make it go to the right. And keep that R kind of in the middle of the analog stick there. Okay, and then, uh, see, running, I'm going to make X. And then squat, I'm going to make circle. Go prone, prone position. And then what I'm going to do with the triangle is I'm going to put it right here. And you won't be able to switch your weapons, but if you tap it, it will reload. Okay, so we're all set up now. All we have to do is click done. Okay. And then we go back to Modern Combat 4 on the tab. And then we'll unplug my controller now. I could have unplugged it earlier. I just didn't. I'm going to click on controller at the bottom here. And then I'm going to click on connect. Because I want to connect my controller. So I'll go ahead and press the PS button on the controller. And there it is. It shows up. So now I can go back to games. And Modern Combat's all set up, so let's go ahead and go into it. So you see this little red light? That means it's connected to Blue Troll. We're all good to go with Modern Combat 4. So I'm going to go ahead and press a button. It says touch screen to continue. All right, as you see there, I'm moving around with the left thumbstick. And it's pretty responsive. Right thumbstick, same. It may seem a little sticky. It just has to get used to it. There we go. So now I'm moving pretty fluidly. And then you got the L2 for throwing grenades. And I can hold it down if I want to. Cook it a little bit. See, look at that. I just killed myself. <laughs> we have down the sights for L1 and then fire is R1. And reload is triangle. So there we go. We're all set up to go. And then uh, we have run, which I have as X button. And squat is circle. I can just teabag over here. All right, so we're all set up, guys. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, make sure and leave it a like. I'll put links in the description for all the stuff that you need. But thanks for watching, you guys. Y'all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Skizzle!